Welcome to the Rotorua Gondola. Today we're going at Mount Ngomotaha where you can see almost the whole town from above. After the gondola leaves its lower station, it's not long at all until we start getting these amazing views of the lake as it spreads out below. The cables run in a line that points at Kawaha Point and Makoya Island. Off to the right, to the south, we find the main part of the city. It takes about five minutes to ride all the way to the upper station. Let's get off and see what there is to see. Now that we're up here, we can look at everything laid out below. We're kind of at the northern end of the urban area here. It's hard to describe just how huge the view is from up here. And this isn't even the top of the mountain. Ngongotaha is, of course, a volcano, like the lake and the island, all created in different events. The hills that surround the lake form the caldera of an ancient eruption. Beyond it, and behind those clouds we find a not so ancient volcano, the flat topped mountain is called Tarawera and it erupted in 1886, destroying a number of villages and raining ash onto Rotorua. They say the sun was dark for three days. To the left we have the northern part of Lake Rotorua, looking very shiny today. That shore is home to the settlement of Hamarana. Right in front of us is Makoya Island, famous from the legend of Hinemoa and Tatanakai, whose forbidden love caused Hinemoa to swim to the island from the other side of the lake. Taking a really close look, we can spot a little bit of Lake Rotoiti among the hills way back there. Looking southeast, here's something you've seen before if you've watched my other videos the boiling pond in Kurao Park. The smaller springs and mud pools are in the trees to the right of the pillar of steam. Here's the Lakeland Queen, up on dry land for now at Mototaro Point, with Sulphur Bay beyond. See how the water looks white in the bay? That's not a reflection, but the minerals in the water. Not far away we have the museum, which is the old bathhouse. Unfortunately it's been closed since the 2016 earthquake in Kaikoura in the South Island. The shocks came all the way up the fault line and caused cracks in the basement. But they're fixing it and hopefully soon it'll be open again. Beyond it, in Sulphur Bay, you can see some of the geothermal activity that goes on back there. Around more to the south end of town, we can see the clouds of steam coming from Pohu to Geyser. And if we look closely, we can just see the top of the boiling fountain. It erupts every hour or so, near the village of Whakarewarewa, which also gives its name to the forest rising behind it. Right, bit of an overview again. Can you spot the things we've been looking at? And over this way we have the road to Taupo, the western suburbs, and the shoulder of Mount Ngongotaha that we're standing on. It's 
take a walk around up here. There are various paths you can wander on. Oh, and there's the Rota Vegas sign. Now time to put my feet up and watch the world go by while I do a bit of work. And now to head back down. It's only a little bit freaky. How would you feel about riding down here by yourself? I had way too much footage for this video. So look out for the bonus reel coming right after this one. Without any talking, you can just experience the ambience. Thanks for watching.